A lot of people these days, Chip, are talking to have an impactful life or I want to have a purpose in life. So in that sense, how can they identify what they're passionate about or what's their purpose about so that that gives them a direction where they want to go in their career? So a couple of questions that I would ask someone to understand their passion or their purpose would be the following. And you, you could do this at home. Uh, the first one would be if someone were to give you a billion dollars and said that you have to give the billion dollars away for some, something that had purpose attached to it, some intent, some, uh, some moonshot or some goal that you want to see accomplished in the world where would you spend that billion dollars or where would you invest that billion dollars or where would you um, give that donate that billion dollars? Uh, similarly, if you could do anything and it didn't matter how much money you had to make and you didn't, you had all the savings you'd ever need. Um, but you had, it wasn't, you're, you're not going to sit on the beach just, you know, uh, sur surfing. Um, but you're actually going to do something that sort of says, okay, I am here to try to make a difference in the world without having to worry about money, what is it that you would, uh, where would you spend your time? And finally, you actually might ask one question, which is um, who are the people you most admire and what are they doing in the world? Um, so when you ask those questions, it helps you to start getting a little bit cl clearer on what is it that from a passion and purpose perspective, but not necessarily from a practical perspective, what are the things that actually give you a pulse and a heartbeat? Um, and uh, for many people, it comes back to something that maybe from childhood. Uh, for many people, it's something from childhood or from yes. what they grew up with. And, and yet, as they became an adult, it, it became something that didn't feel as practical or they, they didn't have time to invest in it. Yeah. Um, I, I happened to grow up in the, in, um, I grew up in a nice neighborhood and, and enjoyed it, but I went to inner, the inner city high school. So it was a very diverse, um, racially diverse place. I loved it. Very different than, than actually my little neighborhood, which was predominantly white. So for me, interracial um, diversity and getting to know different cultures, being culturally curious is really, really important to me. And so I like to support, one of the things I support with my foundation is, um, teenage programs for people of diversity. Um, how, how, how do we support? And, and you know, that has zero impact in terms of on my day-to-day -day life, in terms of how I'm living. But it, it meaning, meaning I, you know, I live in Mexico most of the time now, which is where the academy is. Mm -hmm. But to help invest in and donate to um, urban teen programs for teens um, at risk uh, in the inner city, means a lot to me because it takes me back to my childhood and my, my teen years. And so um, sometimes that purpose or passion that you have will be something that's deeply ingrained in you that you've actually maybe even forgot because you became an adult and you sort of moved on. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree. Like once, when you mentioned childhood, it went back to my childhood days. Like I was doing a lot of painting, a lot of uh, artistic stuff and as you mentioned as we grew up you know responsibilities we need to work we need to have so i kind of totally forget about it but i still paint from time to time so this is one of my paintings Woo! so i always feel when i do that i feel alive and i know that i should give some more time doing it but as you mentioned things can't help and we forget about it but we should always go to our passion and i feel it's always related to our childhood so uh Thank you for those tips, Chip. Uh, for the audience, again, if you had any other extra tips, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, like and share, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Chip.